Hi, welcome to my home. I'm Andrew Guck, your local luggage agent here in Carcassonne. So I live here in Carcassonne. I've been here since August of 2018. Uh, originally, I, f I fell in love with the area back about 10 years ago. And for, for many years, there was this bit of land for sale. And my wife and I, we kind of joked about um, possibly living here at some point. And we started looking for houses around 2017. And there was nothing in the area that really interested us. So we decided to put in an offer on the, the land. And a year and a half later, we moved in. And uh, since then, we've, we've been making it our own our own home, we've done a lot of decorations inside, outside. Uh, I'll show you my garden. One, one, of my, one of my most favorite hobbies is gardening. So when we bought the land, there was only one tree here and a couple other trees uh, that are larger. The rest, the rest of what you see here, uh, we've done ourselves for the most part. Um, there are 129 species. And the reason I know that is because I've actually created a Pinterest board. And on my Pinterest board, I have every single plant and tree that's, that's in my garden here. So today I'm gonna to plant uh, two different trees. One which is my favorite uh, tree of this area is a cypress tree. I've already got uh, six, six different cypress trees in my garden. And this one here I'm gonna be planting next to the edge of this wall where you see that post over here. Uh, Basically, uh, pretty much everything I do, whether it's photography, gardening, um, weightlifting, anything like that I've done. I typically teach myself just reading, watching videos, things like that. Um, so I'm going to test this. See if I don't think the hole's big enough though. <clears throat> No. <sighs> I have to dig a bit more. I'm in my happy mood when I'm in my garden. <laughs> happy, I'm in my happy place. <clears throat> I'm really happy with that. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna look really good there. Um, I just uh, hope I left enough space there because one day he might be as as big as that cypress tree up there. I don't think it's the same species, but if it is, I made a mistake. But I'm really happy with how it came out. And the second tree that I'm gonna be planting today is an olive tree. I've already started the hole here. I already have uh, six other olive trees throughout my garden. So this will be the seventh one here. So next thing I'm gonna do now, I'm working on that olive tree down there to plant. I'm gonna to have to put some water in there to, before I put the dirt in. And I also have some guano d'oiseau marin. It's poop from seagulls. Um, I'd really like to meet the guy whose job it is to have to, to harvest bird poop all day because it sounds like a kind of a fun job. First thing I gotta do is fill up this, this, this hole with, uh, with some water before I plant. And now this is my favorite part. <clears throat> what, I, what I like about gardening is I'm, it really brings me in the present moment and it gives me time to forget about other things in life and to just focus on what I'm doing at the present time. And I don't worry about things, I don't stress about things. It really relaxes me. Um, Additionally, there's something about planting a tree uh, and giving life to something that could be here for another 150, maybe even a thousand years. There are, there are olive trees that live over a thousand years old to so think that when I'm gone and moved on, this tree could still be here and bringing pleasure to somebody else. One day I was digging in my garden and I found a piece of metal and I said, what, what is this? I wonder what it is. And there's a guy uh, in, the, in Carcassonne, he, he's a historian 
And I brought it to him one day to ask him what it was and do a little studying on it. And come to find out it's a piece of uh, a belt from the Roman times uh, that would have held the belt together like this. Uh, I believe it's made out of copper. It's, it's turned green since then. I would expect by the end of, um, hopefully by the end of November, or maybe even mid-December, the, the handover of the keys um, and the property will be yours. Gosh, that's great. Yeah. Well, Andrew, thank you again. Thank you. So that's my daily routine, about 30, 40 calls sometimes on a Monday. Uh, it's the busiest day of the week, Monday mornings, and it kind of tapers off throughout the week. But uh, Mon Mondays is... Uh, is where I do quite, quite a lot of business. I don't typically take appointments on Mondays because I know my phone's gonna be ringing quite a lot, and uh, especially in the morning of, uh, of the day. All right, so I had to change my clothes. It's uh, the end of the year and it's already 21 degrees outside, so uh, put something on short sleeves to, to go with the weather here. So something you have to be prepared for when you live in the, in the south of France. You never know what the weather's gonna be like uh, in the end of the year like this. All right. Now we're going to take a little ride. Here we are, just five minutes away from my house, and we have the medieval city in the backdrop. And one of the most wonderful things about Carcassonne is the medieval city, which is, like I said earlier, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That site attracts over three million people per year alone. In addition to the medieval city, in terms of tourism, we have wine tours that you can do all around. There's the Canal du Midi that you can go cycling on, or just a lovely place to hang out and relax throughout the day. Plenty of places to go shopping, and there are plenty of restaurants in Carcassonne that I personally love to, to take my, my clients to, to, uh, to enjoy a meal. So let's go see the downtown center together. So here we are, downtown Carcassonne in Place Carnot, just 10 minutes away from my house. So you have the best of both sides. I can be out in the country where I live, kind of, in a small little village. And now we're right downtown Carcassonne, uh, where it's quite dynamic. Got a lot of people who come here to go shopping. And lots, lots to do right in the center of, of Carcassonne. Oui, avec plaisir. Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Au revoir. So I just finished up a call with a, a client and uh, I get about 15, 20 calls on average on, on a typical day. Mondays are a bit busier. Uh, just to give you an idea of how busy the market is, it's quite dynamic around here. Uh, I've got possibly around 10, 10 sales in progress right now that I'm hoping to close before the end of the year and give the new, the new buyers their keys before Christmas. Uh, the Canal du Midi is about 150 miles long. It was constructed uh, around the 17th century and it connects the Mediterranean to the Atlantic. Uh, what's so special about the Canal du Midi is that it brings quite a lot of tourism here. You can rent a boat, you can travel uh, along the canal for a week if you want, even longer. Uh, many people, they'll even bicycle along the, the canal uh, for, for many, many, many days, even weeks at a time, and they'll stay at bed and breakfast along the way. Or, or different chambre d'hôtes and that sort of thing. So I wanted to show you a house today in St. Nazaire d'Od that I just listed a week ago. However, I sold it yesterday morning. So I've decided to show you this house instead, which is a gorgeous Maison Bourgeoise located in Cône Minervois. And it has a lot of the same styles and characters that you'll find in the region uh, amongst this, this type of house. So I'm gonna show you around this house a little bit and talk about uh, other types of, of properties that I have in, in this region. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to show you the first bedroom in this house, which is sun drenched, loaded with light. And what I really love about it, and it's quite typical amongst the style of houses that I sell, you'll see quite a contrast between like the, the Tiffany lamps here, which give it more of a, a bourgeois feel to it, a luxury kind of feel, and then the rustic wooden floors. So it kind of gives it an eclectic um, sort of style, which I, I really love, and I love selling houses like this. I love showing this, this style of property. And this is a second living room space, which could actually be converted into a separate apartment. It has its own stairs going down into the garage. So one of my favorite parts of the job, like I said, was, was taking photos. I love photography. And I feel it's very important for not only the vendors of mine, whose house I'm selling, to have professional quality photos, but also the people searching for properties. They want to be able to see a property as, as real as it looks in, in real life. And um, I, I take a, a lot of time to do my photos and edit them and retouch them up to make them look as, as beautiful as possible. And we also do a lot of advertising in high-end magazines and prestigious websites that we need high-end photos for. Uh, so for me, it's, it's, it's quite important to, to have not only a professional camera, but software to edit all of my photos. And it's, it's just one of my favorite things to do. It's one of my favorite parts of, of the job. Uh, my wife and I, we work together. She's, she's fantastic. She does video tours for, for all of the properties that we market and we really complement one another. Parts of the job that I dislike doing, the, the legal side of things, the administrative side of things, she absolutely loves doing. And the things that I love, meeting people, talking to people, uh, that sort of thing, I absolutely love doing. Um, but the reason I ended up at Leggett I was actually working for a software company that sells languages and I had been with them for nearly 10 years, but I was working from home uh, remotely out of, uh, out of the office, the main office in Miami, Florida. And what was really lacking from my job was the human connection every single day. And I really loved to, to meet new people, to talk to people, whereas that job was every day on the phone and via email, where now I get to spend most of my day meeting new people, uh, going out to eat, showing beautiful houses, and so I actually f find what I'm doing uh, enjoyable. And for the first time in my life, I feel like I found the career path that, that works for me here at Leggett, and I'm very grateful for that. So there are a few things that, um, that I really love about being an estate agent. And the first thing is that I'm independent. So I, I essentially make up my own hours. Um, but being independent for me is really important. And making my own decisions is, is something that I really truly, uh, truly desire in, in a career. Um, and secondly, one of my, my biggest passions has been photography. And now I get to do that on a daily basis. I get to photograph um, these beautiful, stunning properties. and. It lets me use my creative side and my creative abilities that I haven't been able to use in other careers in my life, uh, as well as writing the descriptions for, for the properties, which is another part of the job that I, that I really adore. Shortly after COVID happened with, with my other company, um, I, my hours were cut back by 80% after COVID. I, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't live on that. So my wife and I kind of looked at each other and said, well, what are we going to do? She had already been in real estate uh, 15, 20 years ago in the French Riviera. So we kind of looked at each other and said, well, why not do real estate? And she said, if we do it together, we could. Uh, but it has to be for an English speaking company. She loves languages, my wife. She speaks fluent Italian, fluent English and French. And she really wanted a company that we could use our language skills um, to work for. And But starting out, we didn't know how much success we were going to have. I thought. Maybe the first year I'll sell one, possibly two properties, and that would be enough uh, at least for the first year, and then we'd, we'd, we'd kind of create a, a snowball effect and from there do better. However, our first year in 2021, we sold over 30 properties, and it was a huge success. Some people use the expression, fake it till you make it, 
but I don't like to say that. I like to say believe it until you achieve it. And right from the beginning, I decided I'm going to uh, believe that I'm the best agent here at Leggett. I'm going to believe that I'm, um, I I'm going to succeed. And eventually it, it happened. So one of the biggest challenges in, in, this, in this career path is being independent. As I mentioned, it's one of my favorite parts of the job. But if you're somebody who needs to be pushed, it's, um, it can be quite difficult. It can be a challenge. And I quickly realized that, yes, I can. And um, it's actually easier than working for somebody else. So another one of the challenges besides uh, being independent, I would say, is, is, is fear. Uh, it's a challenge that when you're first starting on in a new career that you, you don't have a lot of knowledge in at first, um, it can kind of hold you back. But at some point, you need to just uh, just forget all of your fears and just move forward and constantly better yourself, whether it's learning photography, uh, learning different negotiation tech, uh, basically negotiation strategies, or learning different um, different things about valuating properties and, and that sort of thing. You, you're always going to do better. And as long as you've got proper networking techniques to, to meeting new people and prospecting and that sort of thing, you can be successful like my, my wife and I have been here at Leggett. So it's the end of the day here. at my We're back in my home in Carcassonne. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video, following me around a little bit in, uh, in my day as an agent here at Leggett Immobilier. And if you have any questions or you'd like to sell your property or perhaps buy a property or even become an agent at Leggett, you can see everything below in the, in the link. And I hope to see you soon. A bientôt. Au revoir.